Welcome back. We're getting Lyle here. He's he's an assault knight. He's an archer with a knight body, but not knight range. So, well, that's uh. He's not the most useful unit. Even though he looks to have a bazooka. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> My bazooka offers less range than this spear. Thank well, no, no, like, he has an archer's range, but, like, in terms of movement speed, he's just, like, a regular oh. archer. He doesn't have... He can't cover as okay. much ground. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's not too bad, then. So he's, like, the missile to this game. So he's, like, the version of missile compared to the artillery, if we're gonna make the, um, Advance Wars allegory here, not allegory. Um, metaphor, simile. Comparison. Uh, yeah. Well, similarly and metaphor are both comparison. Isn't that, like, such a weird concept that, like, we have two words for things that are essentially the same? It's just if we use a certain word in one, it's the other. Yeah. That's really weird. Like, I don't know, I think that's something that English teachers say so that dumb kids can get it better. Because I feel like, you know, when you use it in context in, like, yeah, in language, when you're talking with someone, you're talking about, like, metaphors and similes, you know? It means something more. Something that's not as easily defined. The thing about it is, like, I don't ever talk about literary devices when I'm, like, in normal speech. Right. I'm not like, it's oh, sick hyperbole, dude! <laughs> <laughs> that hyperbole is off the charts. <laughs> that hyperbole is like so amazing. I, I that personification that threw it down, son. Yeah, I was I was going to try wow. to like work a hyper he's strong man. He's got a strong lad. La, la, Can we get la, him on the shiny course? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just push the enemies out of the way. I got this guys, don't worry. Push. Push it. Bum 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 bum. No, that's not the right. Is it though? Bum, ba, dum, I, I, I don't know. Bum, ba, da, da, da. Yeah, but it is. you remind me of one of the more stupid yet catchy bass lines in history. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba, dum, 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 followed by the best lyrics that the '90s could come up with. Yeah, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. So I tell you what I want. What I, I was really trying to place wanna, it, wanna, and wanna, then you, wanna, and wanna, then you belted out uh, some some scary spice, and I was like, "Yep, that's that was a thing that I had to live through." Yep, I think the Honors House has a VHS player, so I'm gonna try don't, and bring the Spice Girls movie. Don't bring Spice World into anything. <laughs> So, story time with Kurt. Okay. <laughs> we did a lot of we did a lot of uh, camping when I was a kid. And that involved a lot of driving to campsites. So, okay. We would uh, my parents would set up this uh, little TV with a built-in VHS player because that's how old I am. We had VHSs back in the day. Um, with a built-in VHS player. So, we would watch movies, and my sisters, I had to fucking sit through Spice World probably 85 times. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just, so glad I'm I was just a young changed my man. <laughs> yeah. Just the, the freaking, the beta girl, like the beta girl band waves coming off of that video is like, it does something to your testosterone levels. Yeah, I was... I don't know, I like sit down to pee a lot, and I'm pretty sure it's because of that. <laughs> My fascination with the glitter has gone up approximately 10%. Oh god, yeah, Spice Girls, what a thing that was, that was... What a, like, weird time to be alive. Like, I think that's the only time that a, a foreign, like, girl-slash-boy band has ever made it into the U.S. Oh, uh, the Beatles? I guess, yeah, I guess that was a girl, like, a boy band. 
I was like, girl band, because it's and One Direction. Girls, but no, was, is One Direction British? I believe so. What? What? I mean, I'm not the right guy to ask about this, because I, I have testicles, yeah. but... <laughs> and you're over 13? Yeah. Oh, wow. No, like, if that's true, then those PR... Those guys are, like, PR magic. No, they are. They, like, fucking... It's like the whole Disney Channel. Like, they had a fucking pop star farm. They were just pulling them out of the ground like onions. <laughs> yeah, they stunk about as bad, too. Oh! Ooh. Onion burn! Oh! Kill him! French onion dip. Dip him! <laughs> I'm so glad we missed the whole dabbing craze by, like, at least three oh years. Oh my god, like, fucking people talking about these kids dabbing, and, you know, when I hear dabbing, I think they're, you know, doing dabs. Yeah, <laughs> and exactly. Like, why the hell are these kids dabbing? Where are their parents? And then someone explained <laughs> to me what dabbing in this sense means, and I'm like, why are kids doing that? Where are their parents? <laughs> Sneeze into your elbow when you are sick. No time else. I guess now it has to accompany the bottle flip. I I don't. How do you know that one? No. You take a half-filled bottle of water. You stand next to a table. You don't look at the water bottle. You look away from the table, and you spin the you flip the bottle, spinning it, and you try to get it to land, you know, straight up. Okay. It's like bad flip cup. Yeah. Like what where are these what's wrong with kids? <laughs> <laughs> these new fangled kids and they're bottle flipping. Honestly, I thought we invented I feel cell like, phones for a reason. Yeah, I feel like yeah, like why why aren't you guys doing something not even necessarily productive with your life, but like sensical. <laughs> right? Like, we, at least we had silly bands. You know what to do with those. You oh, wore them, and then you traded bands. them. <laughs> oh, man. That's oh. part of my past I wish I didn't have to live through. I had, I had one silly band. I had just one, because I found it on the ground. And as a kid, I was not cool and or affluent enough to be hot on those dank memes. Even I think, though they I think Malwok was... just just destroyed everything here. I think we win. Did we did we win from across the map? I think we just won from across the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Thank we just won from a... <laughs> uh, And then Malwok won. One hundred percent legit. <laughs> They call me Godwind. Oh, here we are in Dragonia. Dragonia. Hail Satan, Lord of Darkness. Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Laser oh, eye card. No, 100% balanced. Yeah, yeah. It's truly it's the time between walk of... Winning and... Really winning. It truly is the time yeah, walk or treasure cruise of uh, of the Shining Force. I swear. No, I think it's more of like it's got to be a Moxon just because it lets you win out of nowhere. And that was also the fun part of playing the Pokemon game. We're going to go back to Pokemon again just for like one second because, you know, they had Gary Oak, or they had Professor Oak as a trainer card, which, you know. It's so weird not playing Magic because nothing has costs. Hey, it's blue. You know, so when, ooh, yes, our dragon friend. Dragon. Oh, stop it! I'm a cowardly dragon. <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me of the cowardly lion from the Wizard of Oz. Oh, stop! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought it too. I'm like, oh, it's a cowardly anthropomorphic animal. Wonder where they got this. Well, clearly Slaughterhouse 5. <laughs> That's weak Dragon Breath. Karen, you came all the way from the other town. Why were you not slain by Rune Knights? What is this bullshit? 
She put a mustache on. And she got past all of them. I hate you, Blue. Well, come here and just tell me hate it. Oh, now she's being slain by Moon Knights. Yep. <laughs> right on cue. Who the thought I'm good? Okay, so do you want to tussle Rune Knight? I'll fight you one on one. That's not really any sort of problem. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, but we have to let the dragon do it. Kill him. That was rather violent. He just engulfed them in flames. This this game is rated Purgatory. E. <laughs> rated E for everlasting torment. <laughs> everlasting love. Yeah, I could, you know, they played that in hell. <laughs> just, they could take a good, no, what they gotta do is they gotta take a good song, and they just play it for eternity in your headphones I'm, in hell. I'm pretty sure hell is being strapped down to, like, a waterboarding table, but instead of being waterboarded, you're forced to watch Spice World on a loop. Ha! <laughs> oh, except, alright, now I just thought of this. Spice World. But every Spice's head is replaced with Danny DeVito. <laughs> Not Danny DeVito's head. <laughs> but a Danny DeVito. Day. Probably be about the same size. You tell me what I want. Oh my god, they're I... all DeVito Spice. I don't like, I don't like. <laughs> scary Spice is extra <laughs> scary now. Oh shit, it's Kane. <laughs> A long time, Saturn. Hey, you remember my name? I've been hearing much of you lately. Of how you defeated General Elliot at POW. You must be pretty strong. Go to your headquarters and return once you've prepared yourself for battle. The forces will fight on equal terms. Alright, well. That's very nice, Kane. Thank you. Thank you, Kane. It's time for us to throw down. do that, I, I'm gonna finish my little spiel. Um, quickly, Professor Oak, it's Wheel of Fate, which is discard your hand, draw seven cards, you know, but without a cost. So, that's fun. And I just destroyed the kids' minds when I when they realized that you could chain trainer cards together and be like, I'm gonna draw half my deck and get my most powerful move online in two, in two turns. And they're like, what? No, you're cheating. c c c c, -c, 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 -c combo Oh, it was, it's great just to watch them be broken when you play your best Pokemon. Because even if they don't understand that you can't do anything with your Pokemon just yet, they're like, I'm dead. I'm, I'm done. I'm just dead. This is this is so. going to be a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. You're just, you're just running at each other anime style. Yeah, it's like something out of, I don't know, name an anime. <laughs> And that's not me Pokemon. being haphazard, but that's like in every goddamn anime. Yep. But for for real though, like I hate when they do that and they have even the ranged characters running towards the battle. Yeah, like, like in Civil War. <laughs> it's like what the fuck yes. are you guys rushing the battle lines for? <laughs> do you not under understand how strategy works? Oh. And just reminds me of every time, like as a kid, even though I even still do this, or like whenever I, you know, decide to do it. If you're playing like water guns, like nerf fights or something, and the kids try to make it anything other than just what it is, which is a firefight. Like if they're trying to be like sneaky or doing any like strategy or whatever, right. which like you kind of want to do because like oh we have like weapons, we can pretend we're like an army and do strategy, but you know. It's way too small scale for that. Strategy works over the course of days, not over the half an hour in which you're squirting each other with hose water. <laughs> oh, hose water. I used to have one of the awesome... It was like the monster gun, like from the original Super Soakers. See, in my experience, like all the whiz-bang ultra fancy super soakers never performed as well they didn't shoot as far or as straight as my little like shitty slightly bigger than a pistol super soaker that i had acquired yeah, in like 1997 yeah i like the one i i got one recently where they went back to like you know doing some more of the regular stuff before they introduced like clips because they have clips now how you can fuck 
Yeah, they put like they put a valve on top of a little like canister, so you can like unclasp it, and when you when you pop it in, it opens up the seal, so you can shoot. So now you can have clips. It's ridiculous. Kids today are so spoiled. Um, but Back no, in my day, we had to find a faucet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, a straight up tank, and um, that was so much better because you just bump up, bump up, bump, and that was all you needed. You didn't need a freaking spray pattern. <laughs> like, any kid would... Like, if you were playing, like, a real water gun fight, no kid would be like, Oh, you caught me with, like, the side of one of your drops. Oh, no. Oh, no, God. you get fucking drenched and you'd be like, Nope, still going. <laughs> no, yeah. And you always get the one kid who's gonna, like... Who, like, rage quits because they suck at it. So they stop caring that you've hit them, and they're like, No, I don't care, I'm gonna spray you anyway. I feel like that kid exists in pretty much everything you do. Yeah. There's always Except, that one guy. I haven't seen it really come up in Magic, where they're just like, where they, they just mm -hmm. want to wreck the field after losing. Well, I've seen people, like, get upset and quit, because... No, I've seen, like, I... I've had people, like, kill themselves to their own shock land because they were going to lose. Yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of lame. I see that. I did you what? <laughs> but Honestly, me, I just fuck things up anyways. Yeah, because you're Peter, and you're like, trust me, this will help you. <laughs> Don't one, worry, here's one eye entire, of storm. One, one entire board wipe later. I don't think it helped, guys. I fail to see how this helps me. <laughs> well, hopefully, my new endeavor is I have my Aroas deck. Red, white, just combat stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and be bot, like, um, mercenary. Just gonna, I'm gonna whore out my attacking and my, you know, my combat tricks to other people for favors. And we're just gonna fuck things up that way. I just, I just kill people very quickly. There's Could no time to out. politic. Yeah, be like, oh, well, especially when I can see. I still have the capability though to make everyone on the field extremely salty. But hopefully, if I, you know, if I can have the self discipline to just not do that on my own and just wait till someone really hates the board enough where they want to do it yeah I can I, I'll wait until someone just hates the world enough where they let me blow up everyone's lands and all creatures except for one of mine because that's what my two card combo does um yeah and that, that'll just ruin a play that'll ruin a night how much mana does your two card combo require 16 you'd never make it to that I know, I'd get one out, and then they'd be like, oh, god. You'd be you'd be taking a rather large dose of double strike damage to the face before that second card got out. Hemorrhaging. See, especially, like, I know that one of these cards I play will just make Ryan just explode. He'll have an aneurysm if I play this card. Because it, its ability destroys all lands, and he hates land destruction. Yeah, the guy who plays Fulminator Mage hates land destruction. Like, didn't... Like, he's rage quit more than once, right? When someone does that? Yeah. I think so. Oh. Yeah. It was either him or Alex. I don't know. Probably both. I mean, I don't like land destruction at all, either. Like, it just kind of ruins your day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, like, sure, take my, take the stuff I have, but don't take away my ability to do stuff. Yep. That's why Doomblade is better. People like Doomblade more than Counterspell. Doomblade? Like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. But Doomblade, like... Doomblade doesn't, like, hit everything. Right, but if you Counterspell your, their creature versus Doomblade their creature, Usually they'll be more receptive when you Doomblade it, right. even though it's the same thing for the same mana. 
Yeah. Uh, in fact, in that case, counter spell is worse, but people hate it more. Ooh. Ah. Oh. All right. So we're gonna have to. Yeah, pick you all heard that. Yeah, we're gonna have to pick that up next time on Saturn Studs. The epic conclusion to this battle. Yeah.